the seven levels of gratitude and how to supercharge your manifestations. It's Coot here, nationally best-selling author of You Are The One and The Magic of Surrender. We've often heard about the power of gratitude. You gotta be grateful, you gotta be grateful. Cultivate gratitude, write in your gratitude journal every single day, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. But the truth is sometimes it's like, well, how, how the hell do I be grateful? Grateful how? Grateful when? Grateful for what? So there's seven levels of gratitude that I wanna share with you that if you really cultivate a daily discipline in these levels of gratitude, it will completely transform your relationship with life, your relationship with others, your relationship with yourself, and your relationship with gratitude. It will take your gratitude practice to a whole other level. The first level of gratitude is the most basic level of gratitude, and that is the gratitude for what you have. You can't manifest the next level, you can't manifest more things and stuff in life, goals, dreams and desires, if you're not even grateful for what you have right now. Abundance is not just about having more, because if you achieve more and attain more, but you're not grateful for what you have when you achieve and attain more, trust me, you won't feel any happier. So part of uh, abundance is feeling the gratitude for what you have right now. Your car, your house, your socks. You might say, but I don't have a lot of stuff. You have underwear, you have shoes, you have, you know, uh, a watch, you have uh, a chair to sit on, you have a roof over your head. Focus on what you have and start feeling, feeling, the key is feeling, feeling the gratitude for what you have, even if it's small. The more you can feel the gratitude for the small that you have, the more your energy amplifies and the more you become magnetic for the more that you want to manifest. Second level of gratitude. Gratitude for what has happened in your life. That's right, the ability to be in gratitude and give thanks for everything you have been through in your life because every experience has made you who you are. Every experience has brought you to this point. If you didn't go through all of that, you wouldn't be here right now. There's probably people in your life that you would not have met. And so cultivate the gratitude for every single thing that has happened to you up until now. This is key. The third level of gratitude is gratitude for the lessons that you have learned. That's right, all of those experiences have blessed you and gifted you with lessons. Those lessons have made you stronger. Those lessons have caused you to grow and evolve and expand your consciousness. Life is a school. Life is a university for your soul. It's full of lessons. We are here to grow and learn lessons. And the only thing you take with you is the evolution of your consciousness. And so looking at the lessons that you've learned because based on what you've been through, you've been forced to face lessons. Based on those lessons, nothing and no one can take away from you the lessons that you've learned and now you know what to do, what not to do, and those lessons are wisdom nuggets that you can pass on to the next generation. So gratitude for the lessons. Universe, I give thanks for teaching me those lessons. Number four, gratitude for who you are. <laughs> for who you are. How often do we give gratitude for who I am. Many times we're busy comparing ourselves to other people. They're like this and they're like that and that person you know, looks like Justin Bieber and that and this and that. And we're so focused on everyone else's gifts, but truly the grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is really greener where you water it and how often do we water our own selves. And so look in the mirror and take a moment to give gratitude for who I am. Gratitude for my, for my gifts, gratitude for being kind, gratitude for being loving. What are you grateful for about who you are, about yourself? Honor, honoring yourself, appreciating yourself, loving yourself, loving your gift, the gratitude for who you are. Number five is the gratitude for the things in your life that did not happen. <laughs> That's right. Look back at your life and all the things that you wanted to have happen, the relationships you wanted to have happen, the things, the dreams, the goals, desires that you wanted to have happen that didn't manifest. In the moment, you may have been upset, mad, pissed off, frustrated, angry at the universe, judge yourself as a failure, but maybe now, with a little perspective, you're able to look back at life and go, thank God, like thank God that relationship didn't work out. 
folks, there's many, there's certain relationships in my life when I look back three, four, five, 10, 20 years ago that I, I really wanted it to work. And when it didn't work and when we broke up, I was devastated. But now I've met my wife, I have a beautiful son. I give thanks every day. Thank God that that relationship did not happen. Thank the universe. But when things don't happen in a given moment, many times we're not able to understand or see why from the ego's perspective. And we can feel down and we can feel sad and we can feel mad. But don't think you always know why something is happening or not happening in any moment. Trust that the universe is always working out for your highest good. This is the key. The universe is always working out for your highest good, even if you can't see it right now. The next level of gratitude, we'll call this number six. Gratitude for the people in your life. Friends, family, children, spouse, loved ones, you co-workers, boss, right? You know, people in your life. The people that have challenged you, the people that have upset you, the people that support you, the people that love you, right? Gratitude for the people in your life. Gratitude for your parents. How often do we give gratitude for, the, for our parents? Sometimes we don't. Both my parents have passed away and not a day goes by, especially with my mother, that I don't wish she was here. So if your parents are still alive, as an example, right? And you're like, oh, I can't take it. They're calling me every day. Trust me, folks, when they're gone, you will miss those calls. When they're gone, you'll wish they could call you. So give gratitude for your parents. Give gratitude for the people that are in your life. Feel the gratitude that they're there to bug you, to piss you off, to frustrate you. You love them. Give gratitude and let them know how grateful, that, how grateful they are because many times people don't know how much we appreciate them. Let's do one more level of gratitude, folks. Gratitude for the things in your life that you want, that have not actually happened or manifested yet, things in the future that aren't in your life right now, that haven't manifested yet. You're not waiting until they manifest to be grateful. What I'm saying is feel the gratitude for the thing that hasn't happened yet as though it's happened in your life right now. Feel the gratitude for that right now as though it's happened. It's like a pre-gratitude. When you can feel the gratitude for the things that have not happened, as though it's happened. Your body doesn't know, your subconscious doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality. As far as your body is concerned, it's already happened and vibrationally, biochemically, energetically, you start becoming magnetic. You're no longer waiting for the things that happen in order to feel the feeling and feel the gratitude. You're feeling the feeling and living the gra gratitude now. That starts making you magnetic to possibilities, opportunity, and synchronicity. Let me give you a bonus, eighth level, slight bonus. Gratitude for this human incarnation. This is the one that most people miss. Being a human, being alive, life can be difficult, life can be challenging. Some of us, sometimes we don't even want to be here, we'd rather be somewhere else, but the truth is, you could have incarnated a cockroach. <laughs> you could have incarnated a, a rat in a field. You could have incarnated a, a mosquito, but no, you got the blessing and the grace of being incarnating into the human experience, to touch, to taste, to feel, to fall in love, to have orgasm, to eat ice cream, to all the sounds and flavors of life, feeling the gratitude. How often do we feel the gratitude for a human incarnation? Feel it. Today, I want you to live in gratitude, be in gratitude, feel gratitude. Gratitude is the superpower to supercharge your manifestation and is the highest frequency with which to create. The more you live in gratitude and the more you live in thanks, the more the universe will give you to thank about. It's not what you think about that makes a difference, but it's really what you thank about. What you thank about that makes a difference. Let's live in gratitude. Folks, share this video with anyone in your life that you love. Share it with friends and family. Make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that link below. Catch you soon.